Edwards Life Science started 60 years ago through a collaboration between Dr. Albert Starr and engineer Lowell Edwards. Together, they came up with the first artificial heart valve. Edwards Life Science is the leader in structural heart diseases as well as in treatments technologies to support critically ill patients. We develop breakthrough innovations that allow anesthetist intensivists to provide a safer pathway to patients going from ER to OR and to the ICU unit. One of the main challenges that the physicians are faced with in the perioperative pathway is uh, what we call hypertension. This is a drop in the blood pressure of the patients. This has a major impact on postoperative complications, which is also going to impact the length of stay of the patients as well as the overall cost of care. So the traditional blood pressure management is uh, to wait until a hypotension. Let's assume that you have a hypotension below 65 millimeters of mercury. If this hypotensive event occurs, you wait until it occurs, then you think about a therapy. Let's say you prepare a norepinephrine drip, then you connect it to the patient, then you treat it, but then you have hypotensive event of five to seven minutes. So the hypotension accumulates in this phase and the longer the hypotension, the bigger the harm. And then it would be intuitive to think if we can prevent this, we can avoid this harm. Edwards Life Science is pioneering the field of artificial intelligence for anesthesia and intensive care. The Hypertension Predictive Index, HPI, is the first predictive algorithm that is brought to these specialties. Predictive monitoring can improve and optimize patient safety because it's giving time to the physicians to act. It's telling them that the patient is on its way to a problem, in this case, hypertension, and that allows them to anticipate and potentially prevent the consequences. HPI is uh, the most important thing I've seen in the last 10 years in the field of uh, anesthesia monitoring. In my view, it has the uh, potential to change our clinical practice in two ways. The one way is from a reactive blood pressure measurement, that is waiting until the hypertension occurs and then treating it, to a proactive treatment, that is preventing the hypotension before it actually occurs. And the second uh, change is from an unspecific treatment, like giving volume or vasopressor uh, to any patients, to a more specific treatment that is giving the patient what he needs. And this is what the secondary screen of the HBI tells us as a decision support to find out what is the mechanism behind the hypertension in your particular patient. Artificial intelligence is everywhere. It's on our phones to predict the weather, it's in our cars, it's in our daily life. And it needs now to enter the hospital's environment in order to help physicians, clinicians to provide better care to their patients. I'm actively involved in uh, inventing new things and I embrace these new technologies. It's uh, applied physiology at the bedside and, and you can do teaching at the bedside, you can learn even as an, a resident or as an experienced anesthesiologist. So we always have to improve ourselves and our technology uh, to improve the care for our patients. The value that predictive monitoring brings to the hospital, the physicians and the patients lies in the fact that it might reduce complications and therefore it could contribute to reducing the length of stay of the patients, allowing them to go back home faster, better, and potentially contributing to reduce the cost of care. We as doctors are uh, obliged to, to do the best for our patients. So the outcome of the patients is the ultimate goal. And there are several outcomes, of course, that we are interested in, like cerebral health or kidney injury, myocardial injury. All these uh, things matter because they end up uh, to uh, quality of life at the end of the day. So if the surgery is uh, successful, the patient also wants to go home with a good quality of life, and this is the outcome that we should aim for. At Edwards Life Sciences, we're very proud to support the Safer Care to Save Lives program of the European Society of Anesthesia and Intensive Care. We also partner with ISAIC on multiple educational programs and we're looking forward to our continued partnership over the next decades.